Be glad to take some questions. Governor, just to clarify your interview with Esme yesterday, do you think a special session is now needed to address the SRO I think questions? It, well, I think we all want a solution for this. This SRO question comes up, and I worked for 20 years with school resource officers in our building. Um, some districts have worked it out and they believe the language is clarified, others are not. I think what we're trying to figure out is, is there a solution that works best to make sure that we have those trusted adults in the buildings where the districts want them to be and that it, it uh, satisfies everyone's need. I think at this point in time we don't know exactly what that's going to look like. I'm certainly open to anything that provides a solution to that. And if that means the legislature working it out to make sure we have it. And I, I just keep coming back to it and I hope people don't miss the point of this. The issue around the, the use of force in these situations is, is such a rarity in these situations. The value of the SROs in the building is the adult relationships that are built long before anything happens. All of those things get averted when we have those relationships. So I think districts like Bloomington who have them in, they understand the value of that. And so I think what I am open to is let's find a solution where districts that want and can work out uh, an agreement and that the language is satisfactory to everyone. Because I think that the spirit of this thing is all of us want our buildings safe and all of us want to make sure that excessive force is not used on our students. And I think finding that middle ground um, shouldn't be all that difficult. So if the legislature comes to you with a solution, you'll call, because you're the, you're the I think so, yeah. If they, I think we have session. to come up with a solution. We're not, I think when that time comes and we'll see, but there's some districts have already found a solution without the special session. And so I think our goal is to continue to work with them and see if we can work it out. Uh, we'll see on that. Uh, some districts, like I say, some think it is. There's been an interpretation for the Attorney General that said it's fine, that they have the ability to do what they need to do in these situations. Again, I'll come back to this. The, there's never been a case that I know of in Minnesota where a law enforcement officer was charged with something in a school. I understand that the hypothetical that's out there, our goal is once again to make sure that people feel safe, that the law aligns with that. And I think the goal here was is to make sure that the appropriate use of force was uh, clear. And it's the same it's the same things that teachers operate under, that, that, that principals operate under, and I think it's just trying to clarify that language. And hasn't your office also analyzed it? I mean, because the police groups say it's not clear. Some of the schools say it, and supporters say it is clear. That's the way the law works, and this is what we do. And it's sometimes if they get into things, then we have to work out the difference on this. So um, I think the Attorney General gave an opinion, but that wasn't clear enough for some, and we're just trying to work that out again. The goal is to make sure that schools want to have all the resources possible in there, that they're able to do that. The Bloomington schools have said they feel comfortable with this and they've done that. We're trying to make sure that everyone else feels that way. And I'm just trying to find a solution that works. And I don't I don't think it has to be as complicated as it is. The biggest thing is, is that we've got trusted adults in the building doing the work. And again, I will remind folks, the true value of those school resource officers is the 99.99% of the time that they're working building relationships, they're at the football games, they're out on the playground, they're doing those things. That's the focus. This, this end piece on use of force, while important, is not the bulk of the work they do. Governor, but how concerned are you that some of the programs are on pause, at least for right now? Well, I'm concerned that if the schools want to try and get them in there, and the issue is they're not clarification, that's why we're trying to find a solution. And I think when you look at this, that it, it's obviously confusion in here for some folks. Some have felt comfortable doing it, others have not. And what I've said is, is let's work to find that, that solution. If there's something with an interpretation from the Attorney General's office, if that does it and that moves folk back in. And I've said if we need to and there needs to be a clarification in the law, let's figure out how we work that together. Again, striking that balance between student safety, trusted adults in the building, and appropriate use of physical force if needed. Okay, anything else before we head in for breakfast on separate? I've not seen what they've drafted yet. Um, it's so just a if, if I see. It's just like a line, one liner. So we'll take no, we'll take a look at it again. I appreciate that, that folks are trying to get at this. We'll we'll figure it out. I, uh, you know see the forest through the trees on the broader issues of where things are at an assumption that this is the only safety guard we put in place is simply untrue we had legislation around guns this year we have more resources in the school we funded the police at the highest level we ever have and the schools there's a broad package that do deals with safety and this is just one piece of it and again as i said some feel comfortable with it, some don't. I'll take a look at where they're at and making sure that the folks who were concerned that we get this right, um, their voice is heard too. 
It's our right. last one. Like mid last week, though. So are you talking to the Republicans not present? I mean, it's publicly released. Are you talking to different stakeholders? There's been, yeah. yeah, there's been, of course we are. There's lots of, there's lots of things being presented, but no one has come up with exactly what will, what will serve this. Keep in mind, this was put into place because people had a concern of excessive use of prone force is not used by teachers, is not used by others. So that issue is still somewhat debatable. Obviously, you see that. That's why it comes up. So I think working on all sides of this issue is, is has to be there. Um, we, we had a lot of opportunity to do this. Uh, it's come up now at this kind of late hour. Our goal is to try and just work and find a solution, which I obviously it's happening across the state. We can. All right, we'll wrap it there. Thank all you, right. everyone. We're going to go see food. Yeah, let's put him for breakfast.